Hello ladies, gents, and incredible shrinking children, are you ready to become mortal today? Let's see what this game is about. How many people will lay down their lives to save Mortolia? The first game in the Mortal series conceived by Benedict Chun, but directed by Jerry Smolsky. I don't know why that's a but, why not an and? It was conceived, but... And then directed by Jerry Smalls. I don't see how that's a bad thing. Anyway, let's go into Mortal and maybe sacrifice entire civilizations to save Mortolia. I see continues, therefore, it is one of the big ones. It's not one of those one and done type of runs. Among the ancient ruins, outside our dear capital, a great evil has reawakened. Will you lay down your lives to defend Mortolia? To serve the cause, you must master three rituals. The ritual of arrow. Okay. The ritual of bomb. Jeez. <laughs> well, uh, we have a pile of suicide bombers. I like it. And the ritual of stone. Hold down an A. All right. All right. That is quite a few pile of levels. I like it. We got 20 people. I see. So are they like lemmings? No, they are... They are indeed human beings. So, I think I get it. You get these people to die, and then you use the other people to use their corpses. <laughs> How amazing! <laughs> I like it. <laughs> wow, he just dies by touching the pig, huh? You cannot stomp. Let me see. You don't stomp. You get touched, you get murdered, all right? Uh, these people are absolute trash. But then you can kaboom! <laughs> Alright, I like that. I like it quite a bit. So, probably need to become stone? Oh, you destroy the spikes. That is very important to know. So, it's kind of sort of like a lemmings... A lemmings proxy. It's, of course, not quite. Very novel think, uh, thinking, though. I really like it. Derek, you love his arrow trap uh, faces that, that throw out throw out all kinds of projectiles. So if I blow up this three, what happens? Nothing. Oh, it probably gives me people, right? So we need... Uh, become... What if, if I grab it with an arrow? Aha! That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. So I think, let's see what is the height of my jump. So we're gonna have to submerge our skull into the wall right there. Uh -huh. Although maybe I could have used the parachute to get on top of a high one and then maybe I would have made it. All right, we can just get through here. There's more people at the bottom. I'm safe here, don't worry about it. But, of course, it's not easy. For the price of two, though, you can blow up. You don't get killed while you're parachuting. All right, all right. Blow up. No, you scum lord! You were not supposed to touch the edge. I guess we're breaking even unless... What the... The inertia on this parachute is pissing me off. Oh, you actually kill the enemies with your arrow ritual. All right, all right. Uh, we're learning many, many things as we go through the first level of mortal. Wonder how long it goes. How many chances I have. Well, clearly my arrow ritual is not going to work out there, but probably... Can I maybe just jump? No, I cannot. But if I become a rock, I am indeed able to jump on top. yep All right. Very cool concept. This is really awesome. <laughs> Very thinking outside the box, this, this, this video game. We have a chance to go up, but is that worth anything? Let's find out. Let's see if we can use our vulnerability all the way to the... Nope, no, yeah, I was very stupid. Through this, another member of society into the trash. I want to see what's up here. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, uh, no way to blame on myself. Maybe we wonder if uh, the ritual stone will destroy these rocks. We are, this is the first, the first level, the first playthrough, right? So let's make some tests. Will my weight destroy the rocks? Let's find out. Pow! It does! Alright, that is very important to find out. 
And of course we want the three dudes. The three people. Grab me that. Will becoming a kamikaze against spikes destroy the spikes? It doesn't, but it does make you run through them, which is completely worthless. Uh, can we jump in between these pigmen? This disgusting, evil enemies of Mortolia. Um, very stressful. I think we can rock and then jump onto the rock. Don't. The inertia on the parachute just makes me so damn wary. All right, we got that far. So how do we get the five? With enough rocks, we'll get there. I think we need like three to get up there. Let's do the investment. Rock myself. And another rock right here. But be careful though, because we can't. We need to leave a gap to be able to land on it. Something like that. Those three idiots have been murdered. Kind of a, a problem here. <laughs> I did not think this one through. I am committed, so we're going for it. <laughs> Please do not get killed. <laughs> <laughs> I have spent five idiots. <laughs> Please. Oh, I actually got somebody out of there. I think you cannot jump on the edge. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. Ah, oh, you can stand on your the corpses of your friends. <laughs> how, how wholesome. How very wholesome. I like it. Um, so that jump I've been trying to do is just not possible. And I cannot reach that. But I guess now I'm committed to get this done, so let's get a dude right there. And maybe we can get on top of him? I've ruined everything. <laughs> I've ruined everything, but I am committed to making this work. Alright. We got this. Please. Oh, come on, that's... We just need to thread the needle here. There you are! <laughs> uh, the investment was slightly higher than... It should have been, but uh, I regret nothing. Okay, so we need to blow up against these, or maybe go up. No, pushed. <laughs> Best ritual ever conceived by the likes of mortal. Uh, I don't think we have enough room to go over to that side, so let's blow up over there. This is a, a, a nightmare. Can I reach? I do reach. Then we put another head in the pavement. The thing is, you can also play with what you just saw. If you put yourself... Oh, oh I hit the, the wrong key by mistake. If you put yourself in a situation where the, the ship needs to advance, it becomes a trivial matter to get past a few of the puzzles. All right. Oh, do they keep from level to level? I bet they do. So now I actually have less people to be able to get to the end. Let's see. If we start with 20. No, you you start with okay, well that, that matters quite a lot to know. It's they, they don't get renewed. Going forward, wonder what the outlines are. Maybe you get them only if you destroy. Oh it charges. I think there is a switch right here. This is a switch? Yeah, all right. Oh, but only only if you put a, a dead person on it. But of course it becomes worthless because then the parachute just goes on top of this uh, platform and it's not a big deal whatsoever. This may be, I mean, uh, uh, there's so many that it's hard to even keep track of everything that I've played, but I think this may be the most original game in UFO 50 so far. So this guy is a piece of trash. How about you explode and you stop hitting that? And then we are going to put a rock here. Basically get ourselves three lives. There you go. Kaboom! <laughs> Filthy pig. Get destroyed. All right, let's see what's up there. Wonder what these gold nuggets are. Uh, I guess we want to put one of these here. Can I reach? I don't reach. We put a head in the ground. Very upsetting to be standing on the back of my comrade. 
this is what communism is all about, though. We could sacrifice an idiot to kill these pigs. Wonder if it's ever worth it. You do get people back now and then. So it sometimes may be worth it to just be extremely aggressive, kill all the damn pigmen. Especially when they're lined up. And there's a lot of people that you can destroy at the same time. <clears throat> Alright, well, this is a little annoying. I think we can just use a couple stone men and we'll be fine. I wonder if there are secrets. I'm safe here. I don't know, do not reach up there. Just, just use another stone man. It's all good. It's all good. I wonder if there are secrets to discover going around the level or it's just purely solve the way forward and that's it. I do wonder indeed. He's going to try to kill me, but it's okay. We explode! Prevent evil creatures from destroying me. You gotta think about this, because we don't want to destroy the ground underneath. Let's do it like that, that should be pretty good. Get ourselves three extra idiots. Buy more slaves for mortal! For Mortolia. We're going to embrace... Embrace mortality. Abandon modernity. Just give yourself to the cause. Long life. To Mortolia. We are going to need one of these to be able to get to the, to the top here. See, there's this other, another, this other giant path right above my head. Oh, you actually look behind your butthole. You have eyeballs in your butt, and then you're very fast. All right, <laughs> you know that. We learn things about enemy behavior as we get through this nonsense. So he's actually really difficult to avoid. I think you want to jump over him and just. Maybe they're very difficult was a bit of an overstatement. Uh, that's the thing that happens. Yeah, I should have I should have anticipated that's the thing that happens. Um, clearly. Oh, when you hit space on your parachuting, you will drop right away. That's very important to know. Oh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Oh, it's not completely lost. We make a rock here. No, you idiot, you buffoon. <laughs> And we try to maybe edge. We can edge this. Yeah! We still come out ahead. Or at least break even. Just gotta get to the edge without advancing the ship. Bruh! Come on! <laughs> no, I have to believe myself. Does expl do explosions destroy my own rocks? They do. Alright, so we can maybe break even. Even now. Edge this experience and give me those five dudes. Uh, clearly, I have wasted a ton of people, so it feels kind of silly to even continue. But you know, this is not supposed to be a series where I'm trying to finish the game. I'm just supposed to be uh, giving my first impressions. Is this jumping impossible? Yeah, you can, you can. But is it is it worth it though? Let me just blow up here. I was hoping that they will actually reach all the way to the bottom here. Uh, because I didn't want to have to to open the way for this piece of trash. I guess we can. Eh, this. this is, what's the worst that can happen? This guy won't kill me. It'll be fine. Or I guess we could use two people to kill the horrible spine monster. Oh, actually, it requires more than two, huh? Let's find out how many. Gave me a point. <laughs> I wonder what the numbers are. I think maybe it's just a counter. I think I get it. It's a, a counter to get in the next one. I guess we'll make a rock and then drop me, baby. Uh, see, this game is super speed runnable, isn't it? You could get so good at mortal and be ultra duper, super duper fast. We got 10 dudes down there. 10 dudes. I must have the 10 dudes. Uh, I forgot completely how these people behave. How these horrible monsters behave. That's the exit. But we put a rock in the... We put a rock in the... Whatchamacallit. So we cannot access number 5. We won the 10 though. I think it's just a matter of... 
waiting here, dropping down. Put a rock. And then we can just go around the rock and we'll be fine. Alright, we're good. Ah, 17. We got plus one. Mortal is awesome. This may be the best so far. Ninpec really clicked with me, but I can look at this game and be like, the mechanics are just hilariously good. <laughs> it's so great. Oh, you probably put rocks on this and weigh it down. Nice, awesome, <laughs> great, great job. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, but it's not an activation. It's just so you can go down. I see, I get it. Uh, all right. Do rocks weigh more? They don't. Another important bit of information has been attained. Let's wait this out. Jump. All right, got ourselves three more dudes. I wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> what you want me to do? There's nothing I can do about it. Wonder if I have to. I, they have to be destroyable, otherwise we have no exit here. Or I'm not thinking with portals, man. When I die, I'll just I'll just be outside. So die. <laughs> I'm just not thinking about the expendability of the population of Mortolia. Uh, oh, I was hoping that that will land in the middle, but that's okay. So, there will be very few places where it will be worth killing enemies for the sake of killing enemies. Most of the time, you're just looking to destroy the enemies uh, while you are accomplishing goals. I was hoping to do such a thing right there. So, the, this guy was going to be uh, yeah, doing this. This is, this is pretty nice. I like it. We have created ourselves an alternating machine of path making. Really like it. This may be one of those places where you may want to kill the, the pigs, especially if you can do it alongside an explosion. Go yourself and happen to get the fly as well. And that gave me that extra dude. Very nice. All right. What happens here? We do need to put enough weight. I got it. We need to put enough weight on the. Yeah, we just need to sacrifice an idiot, right? Well, that's not exactly what I planned, but... Uh, well, they didn't want to drop all the way down, but this is fine. Everything's fine. It all worked out. We just need to sacrifice a moron. Um, hmm. Complicated, but this is a, a dude that pays for himself if I time this right. We just need to blow up at just the right moment. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, suicide in his best and best incarnation. Alright, I don't think I can jump far enough here. Let's think this one through. We of course won the three dudes at the bottom. But we can just keep running. Sacrifice one dude, then Oh, maybe not. Maybe this 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 uh, creature weighs enough. No, it doesn't. And then you can't inhabit the same block. He will absolutely murder me into oblivion. I think what we want. Let's just trigger. Let's just trigger the thing and see what happens. Immortal, for yeah, yeah, immortality. There you go. You trigger that nonsense. Murder a pig man. Ah, there's another one here. <laughs> Alright, it's all good. Let's go get ourselves out three. Three reinforcements. This monster, it just needs to get killed, right? It is... Impossible. Impossible to get through it. So if we can maybe blow up alongside the fly, we will at least break even. Or just sacrifice one idiot in the service of destroying the armadillo. I wonder if there's a way to actually get through this without blowing up three times. Maybe if you put a block somewhere around here and then you jump on top of it. Probably could have gone through that without killing myself like a moron. Okay, we want this. That's annoying. We just need to sacrifice a dude, right? There's no way around it and then you get paid back way down there. 
So we do need to put... I think what we want is to trap the pig. Nah, let's just put a block right there. Let's stop trying to think with portals too hard. Another dumbass gets trapped. The rituals are... Oh, this was a mistake though. Because I'm trapping the way out. And these filthy pigmen... <laughs> these damn pigmen are... Completely desynced. Oh, this is annoying. That's awful. Not my fault. Did not think with portals at all. Alright, so that's good. But then the other guy doesn't even translate. This is a complete disaster. Poof! <laughs> that's right. I think I have created a situation where I... Okay, never mind. I am just... I'm just too dumb to live is the problem. Uh, if I put a rock here, that will be perfect. Okay, then we go down, then go come over here. All right, perfection. Never mind. I am... I am... Once again, too silly. <laughs> I think we basically broke even through that entire interaction. No, I think I am one down. Oh, you can't jump over this. Oh, that's painful. So we can either blow it up. Let's see if we can blow up both. Ah. Either blow it up or put another one. That would have been the solution there. So clearly wasted there way more than I was supposed to. It's pretty... Uh, pretty Extremely suboptimal. Can we get ourselves an extra dude? Do we... Uh, do we break ahead? Kind of, not really. I guess I'm keeping blowing up these, these blocks. Very upsetting. And then I have to put another one of these. Womp womp. I feel like I should have been able to do that uh, with less... Less flesh! Alright, not sure I'm supposed to, to make this one happen. I can spend two idiots to get three. That should work, right? Of course, counting on uh, the armadillo creature not murdering the one that comes this way. I think we have to throw our heads at it <laughs> and just figure this one out with violence. I guess you just blow this up. No, that's not the right ritual of death. <laughs> oh. Humiliating. Humiliating. I just misclicked, okay? Don't judge me. Oh. Okay, it's all good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There's 10 at the exit. We just need to not suck ass going forward. All right, that's neat. That's neat. I don't think this kills me. We can... What just happened? Oh, there was too much weight into the platform, but hey, we got two people out of it, so it's all fine. Yeah, just didn't, didn't click. Still broke ahead. That was actually a plus four, I think, so we're going to figure this one out. Is <laughs> Excellent. Excellent mortal progress. Uh, for the purview of these videos, which I want to make 20 to 30 minutes, Clearly, I'm not going to get to the end, and I'm sure it gets so much harder as we continue. This is clearly acid, right? Uh, do bodies float in Mortolia? They do not. All right, <laughs> great to know. Oh, I didn't even check whether I still had control over that guy. Uh, the rock will not float. It is possible they don't die when I touch the water. Look, more tests need to be conducted. No, you, you can still control him. Oh, but you're... <laughs> you do float. Okay, great, great stuff. No, no. Ah! <laughs> Bodies do float, but mortal men cannot swim. <laughs> the plot twist there. Clearly this piranha wants to murder me. There's no way this piranha is not going to chase me down and murder me. Yeah, mortal men are just absolute trash at the swimming. Oh, you can actually swim. You just need to be good at it. How, though? 
do you use spam? No, I think it's just properly done. Why was he going up? I don't get it. Bro, this is just a, a nightmare. <laughs> this is a mechanic I'm just I am entirely unfamiliar with. I'm wow. Uh, we have been fully foiled by the existence of liquid. I don't get it. I don't understand what allows you to go up. You hold down the button, you buffoon. <laughs> I keep spamming like it's a freaking Sonic game. Like it's uh, any other video game where, like in Spelunky, you have to spam it. Uh, well, that cost me like 70. 70 men have given their lives for me to discover this new technology. Alright, so how do we make it here? I think you're supposed to make a man drown right here. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. So that way you can jump on his body. That should do the, the trick right here. And we can jump over and be able to get on top of a person. Alright, alright, good stuff. Very upsetting that uh, it ended up being like this. But, uh, you know, things were learned. You do chase me. All right, good to know. Chase me forever. Maybe we can make you chase me all the way over here. I don't think they have a limit of how much they chase you. But if you die, it's fine. Oh, you get eaten! Oh, well, did not know that I would just cease to exist. Uh, that's the thing. Some trial or error is required in Mortolia. Immortal. Which means... I mean, two rocks will give me what I want, right? Uh, trial and error is required. Which means you're going to be wasting people. I mean, a uh, smarter person than myself could have figured it out without having to actually spend anything. But I'm afraid I am not that guy. Uh, poof! More than one, huh? This is a terrible spawn, by the way. I absolutely hate it. I hate that. <laughs> this is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. Bruh. Fine. Fine. Put me underwater. There's no breathing here. So I'm just dying. All right. Awesome. But at least we advanced enough to not be in the spawn of death. What a nightmare. <laughs> this level is so much harder than those that came before, and that's what I was very much afraid of, that uh, we will be facing much harder challenges. So, probably rock sink. Yeah, makes a lot of sense for that to happen. But hey, we broke even thanks to our ability to murder. Never underestimate my ability to cause damage to my enemies. Okay, jump over here. Uh, do I have enough time to reach that three? I guess we're about to find out. Nah, no way. Nope. Unfortunate. Jump over there. How do you reach the three? I think you were. I was supposed to destroy these spikes. I did it, and then I completely forgot it. Do explosions destroy spikes? They don't. All right. Mortal is awesome. I really, really like it. Oh, you do get, you get a continue. Wonder how many you get. Wonder if it's forever. Well, I want to do science. So I'm going to, I'm going to find out. Let <laughs> me just make the most incredible Tetris tower. Uh, we are making a pyramid. Literally throwing slave labor at this pyramid. Let's do a minus 20. Uh, it's somehow taking shape to be a middle finger. And I, I appreciate that. See if we can make an actual middle finger. That would be great. There you go. Game over. Do I get to continue? It kind of just puts you back here. I don't see anything saying that, hey, you have limited amount of of attempts. You just go back to the to the level with the lives that you have. So, you know, I'll just keep playing. Uh, and get to the end. The Mortal is awesome. I love it. It's great. Super thumbs up. This is like, I think the first completely unambiguous 
no caveats, nothing. The gameplay in this game is hilariously good. I love everything about it from the game mechanics to the entire philosophy of throwing bodies at the problem. <laughs> it's hilarious. All right, we'll see what comes next.